Mr. President, there is no question of our nation's insistent and urgent need for new energy concepts. As we approach the 21st century, we must look to broader uses of coal, geothermal energy, and new energy sources. Meanwhile, we desperately need to develop more effective ways of using presently available energy sources as well as those that may be developed under the provisions of this bill since coal, oil, and gas must play the predominant role in supplying the energy needs of the nation in the foreseeable future, it is vital that these fuels be used effectively. Since 1968, Senator Metcalf and I have worked long and hard to give the MHD technology an opportunity to prove its potential advantage over conventional generation methods. I am happy and appreciative to note the $50 million authorization provided by the Interior Committee in S-598 the ERDA authorization bill to back a national MHD program. I am confident that Dr. Siemens and Dr. White at ERDA are sincere in their statements that the MHD program will be accelerated at a pace consistent with a competent research, development, and demonstration program. In addition, Mr. President, during the Interior Subcommittee on Water and Power Resources markup of S-598, the distinguished senator from Ohio argued strongly for ERDA to pursue a more aggressive program in the development of fuel cells. As a result, the Interior Committee report on S-598 recommends a funding level for fuel cells in fiscal year 1976 of ten million dollars a substantial increase over the five hundred thousand dollars requested by the administration i support this action by senator glenn and the interior committee so that the momentum of this important new technology is not lost. Mr. President, fuel cells are one of the most promising candidates for near-term conservation of both energy supply and energy dollars. A fuel cell is a device representing an entirely new method of generating electricity. It converts chemical energy directly to electrical power. Fuel cell power plants are capable of delivering up to 30 percent more energy from a given amount of fuel than conventional generating systems. Even larger savings are possible through recovery of heat created by the fuel cell. Five minutes, 100. Jury charge.